Nihao and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Rise of the Robots campaign where we are only using psi-operative characters and sparks and that's pretty much it. And you ask yourself, Saiken, why uh, haven't we seen a spark yet? That's an absolute fantastic question, guys, because I started with a lab rush and in hindsight, still the right decision, but it delayed uh, the sparks. It is what it is. We're now with Operation Dragon Hammer and I figured since we're, we can only use um, rookies, I noticed that there are potential rookies hey, there, that we can bond. That is fantastic. Because the bonding has just upsides, there is no downside uh, for us. Might as well do it before we go into the mission. And the hunter already starts to mock us, which means he is going to be the one whom we're fighting on this mission. Every retaliation mission has a very high likelihood that you're going to fight a chosen one. Since we have just fought the um, assassin, it is unlikely that we're going to fight her again. Just color coding those rookies so they are really only rookies. In terms of weapon upgrades, let's first of all make our weapons available. Yes, make utility items available. Yep. True Rebel will get the flashbang grenade and the weapon with the stock. We got our DLC weapon here and Q, um, uh, Q, XQS6 will get another upgraded weapon. The cool part about these weapons now is we can even further upgrade them. Let's give another autoloader for True Rebel. Uh, let's XQS6 will, besides the autoloader, get the superior repeater and let's color code it uh, so that I know this is the weapon with the superior repeater. And finally we're going to give toxic not only a repeater but yet another autoloader that way we're not losing an, a lot of time when we're uh, charging in rookies have absolutely horrible movement rate and oftentimes you're losing a lot of momentum by reloading so giving them the ability to reload for free at least once in a mission is going to be great whether or not it's enough to actually save that mission i have absolutely no idea good and we have just landed let's hope that it is one of the missions where we get a few resistance operatives on top oh yeah we got resistance encampments oh fine oh, that is fantastic the reason why i like them so much is they are essentially as good as our soldiers at this point Almost. Our soldiers have better weapons now because we rushed uh, the weapon upgrades. I would love to rush all the way to there, but that's not going to happen. Instead, let's keep everyone kind of at the edge there. Not very secure cover, but I'm pretty sure we're not going to spot anyone out. Okay, as predicted, we're fighting against the Chosen, but I don't know what the Hunter has to offer for us. Uh, kinetic plating, missed shots will generate shielding and low profile. After the first shot, he will be harder to hit. Uh, why is it always the missed shots when I play with the rookies? On the other end, takes increased damage from close re range attacks and more damage from skirmishers. More damage from skirmishers is effectively not a weakness because there are no skirmishers in this episode. We see that there is another pack right next to him over here. And there is a pack right there. Oh my god, we annihilated them. Holy shit.
Good, yeah, the weapon upgrades are definitely worth it. That was fantastic. It was one of those cases of now you see me, now you don't. Viper comes in. Pretty tanky enemy at this point in the game, may I say. And it just gets obliterated. Gotta be a bit careful. I'd like to take the high ground here. So let's move up. Frag grenade is not even reaching him. Okay, we're going to do a bit of a special maneuver, which is the hunker down strategy. Making his cover too good for the enemy to proceed, thus making the enemy run into our overwatch trap. Worked like a charm. Holy shit. Those weapon, uh, early weapon upgrades are paying off. Not that I say that this is a valid strategy, but I gotta admire just how well it is performing with the upgraded weapons. For once, we're not getting completely stomped. <laughs> and that's already something. I'm, I'm already happy seeing us succeed, sort of-ish. Because this is how rookies normally behave. Getting nervous yet. No, I'm not getting nervous yet. Not at all. You know what? We're going to stand in the open. I'm going to be bold here because I know there is no further pack. We already know one pack here, one pack here, one pack here with the chosen and the chosen and that's it uh, there shouldn't be more enemies so that was the only spot where we were outside of the tracking shot ninety percent chance to hit Yeah, let's do that. Oh my god. That is disgusting damage. Alright, we know that they are over here. This would be super greedy. Probably going to get it next turn. Instead, let's move up into full cover. Chosen does not see us, hence, no further tracking shot. Uh, it appears that no one seems to be seeing anyone at this point. What a strange but welcome turn of events. Advanced laser sight, good enough. You know, so far I'm not seeing that we need to speed it up too much. All right, XQ6 is going to move into your direction as well. I want to keep the troops together, like I mentioned many, many times. Commander, Advent is in 
backing off. They've got units in the AO that are ignoring our forces just to get a better shot at the civilians. Take those bastards down. Good. We know that there is one group down there. And we also know that the resistance operatives are... Yeah, well, now they finally found out where the enemies are. And they got high ground, so that's maybe not even too bad. Hell yeah, they do have high ground. Now that is... Hilarious. <laughs> maybe they are even going to win by themselves. Oh my gosh. Advent is getting a pounding. Gotta be careful, by the way, there are still two faceless ones up here, so we don't want to just charge in. Double movement. Careful movement to here and true rebel. Yeah, I don't want to expand our field of vision too much. Fair enough. Come on guys, resistance operatives, anyone? Very nice, let's stun Lancer down. The other resistance operatives are standing back. I'm not sure if I like it or not. I see a should spot them out. Good, so we're like looking at 60% chance shots. That of course is not good enough for me. Some monster needs to die. This here is the repeater auto loader. This here is the stock that I was looking for. Getting closer. This will be a 100% kill against that trooper. All right, moving up and now it's time for that miserable advent to finally die. I want to make sure that we're definitely killing him. That's why I'm using teamwork. Just to hedge our bets that we're not standing in the open. Good. Overwatch. Another kill. The resistance, remaining resistance operatives will try their very best to defend our people here. Unfortunately, just shy of killing him. Time is running out, Commander. Moving up. 
All right. I'm all over it. Next turn, we're going to go all the way up. Don't want to immediately go there. Not yet. Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. Like I mentioned, there are still two um, faces once up here. This is probably where it might become a bit more dangerous. Getting very close. Rolling. I've got eyes on advent troops. All right, Toxic moves up. Enemy eliminated. I need ammo. Phew. Come and get some. Moving here will be dangerous because it'll allow I face this one to hit two. Moving here is dangerous because it'll allow uh, the chosen to get any closer. Probably that's the best course of action. Flashbangs are going to show if one of them is a faceless one. Apparently none of them is a faceless one. I have a hard time believing that. Oh, they fixed that. Well, earlier they did it in Classic uh, XCOM 2. Flashbangs could spot out faceless ones. Alright, finally the resistance operatives are catching up with the situation. The flashbangs now seem to disorient them. I mean, he's not capable of taking an action. Which is good enough for what I was trying to do. Alright, moving into a better position. Alright, that's the first free reload on him. Toxic does no longer have that free reload. And the faces one is down. We definitely have a purifier still on the left hand side. So gotta be careful here. One more purifier over here. Bestätigt. 
moving up. Rolling. Orders confirmed. On the move. I like the idea of no further faceless ones, if that is really true. Alright, Overwatch, just in case another one of them starts becoming a faceless one. Chosen cannot see us, as the way that it works is uh, the shot would definitely trigger, even if it's only a, a disguised, um, the tracking shot would trigger even if it's just a disguised um, civilian. Which leads me to believe that we might have successfully killed all of uh, the faceless ones. And the next course of action naturally would be to go for the chosen. Let's see that we're not triggering him yet. Again, a lot of overwatch here. So far, the weapons have completely stomped the enemies. I am absolutely excited about the strength of uh, the laser, uh, the magnetic weapons. Got ourselves some overwatch here. Come on, focus. Hey, hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. He's trying to mock us, but no mockerino today. We're going to show him who's boss. Four rookies. Definitely enough against him. Gotta be careful with the sniper rifle. Come on, a couple of resistance operatives. Yes, thank you. That's what we're looking for. Don't shoot him, please. That'll create kinetic plating. You should have pulled your people out when you had the chance. All right, here we go. Uh, that will at least remove uh, a bit of cover in some of his... Well, it did not uh, remove his um, his armor, but at least the cover is removed. Of course, he also has dodging, just to make it a tiny bit more difficult for us. Okay, so moving over here into half cover. That's what I'm talking about. Great shot. Free reload. XQS6 now has no more reloads as well, but we can kill him. Unfortunately, not quite. Alright, XQS6 
in a difficult position. Wow. Why are you trying to hit him when you are just giving him more hit points? For the love of God. One of our soldiers is in a daze. We need to snap him out of it. Don't move. You'll be all right. Yes, That's that's a problem over here. But we gotta remove the days. Is everyone freaking dazed? Not good. Not good at all. So we got the repeater. I don't want to give him even more hit points. Enemies down. On reserves. His shield is ever so slightly growing with the kinetic plating. Good. We gotta finish it now. All right, moving over into a flanking position, hundred percent shot. He will hit us regardless, but we cannot shoot into full cover. Ooh, what a massive fight. Thanks for the weapon upgrades, I suppose. And thanks for the resistance operatives who continuously gave him health. Kind of even itself out. Luckily for us, no one got killed. We're still on track for a deathless run. <laughs> Not that it had been planned, but we're still on track. Okay, I'd much rather prefer to have Hogbite with us instead of not having him with us, because that was a nail-biter of a mission. Can't promote anyone, but I can tell you XQS6 got downed and he's now gravely wounded for 24 days. Very well forward everyone. We got a laser sight and an advanced laser sight which isn't too bad and we got 40 supplies permanently which is even better. Uh, might as well bond those soldiers as well. Commander, the media is a powerful tool. Just ask Advent's propaganda machine. Cool. Very, very good. There are potential supplies and there are even more supplies here. Fantastic. Let's assign a new covert ops mission. Breakthrough research. Hmm. Not that the promotion, I mean, the promotion would actually be super helpful for Hogbite, but we cannot let him go, not yet.
This here would be a resistance order. How many more days until the end of the month? So we're looking at seven. Yeah, I might as well do this here. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, moderate chance, low chance of an ambush. We don't want to be ambushed. All right, Hank and Raul will do this mission. So far, the covert ops are really not working well. I'm a bit disappointed with the decision to go for them first instead of the proving grounds. Proving grounds would have been a much better decision. Okay, let's get the engineer. Perfect. Remarkable. We finally got uh, research and improved assault rifles. Hmm. Yes, we are very much willing to do that. That's essentially an upgrade to all of our weapons because PsyOps are using assault rifles and basically all of the rookies are using assault rifles. Hell yeah, that is a fantastic breakthrough. Mm, we got an engineer and that means we are no 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 no. that means we are continuing to build the power relay even faster so seven days and six days means it's almost done simultaneously and that means we can uh, continue building so very good base management works out well Pursue of knowledge, laboratory facilities provide an additional tw <laughs> Okay. So how about we are How about we are building a resistance tower over here? That way we get pursue of knowledge. And that means we're not only at six scientists, but essentially it's even plus twenty percent per scientist that is in a laboratory. So that would be eight scientists. Alien debris finally removed. Two more days until the power relay is done, which means we can start excavating here. Next up, we're going to put another um, operative in there. With more power, we will have the supplies to upgrade. And like I said, Proving Grounds is the next natural expansion. Incoming message for you, Commander. And that ends month or that ends cycle number three, beginning of May now. Good. The attempt she attempts to do a sabotage on the Avenger, which is bad. The crackdown is okay, and she's now increasing in strength. That essentially means she gets a lot more abilities. Guaranteed guerrilla, uh, guaranteed reinforcements. That would stink. Oh my god, we definitely got to counter undying loyalty. Holy shit, is this a bad trade? Believe me, you do not want to see me play with uh, Undying Loyalty. It completely messes up any form of calculation. Excavation still continues. And yeah, we're now at 400 supply, 500 supplies almost. There is the 20% boost to research times and I don't know if it's cumulative for every single um, every single scientist but it certainly is a fast one it doesn't do anything for the breakthroughs because they are fixed at 10 days but it does a lot for all of the other research finally that was fantastic let's get 480 supplies 
Um, I used a little bit of a trick here. Uh, I did not harvest it last month, so that way we essentially saved three days. Got ourselves a nice upgraded power relay for five more power. Meaning now we are able to go with Proving Grounds facility. Yes, please. And I'm even going to speed up the building process. And we can see what else we want to do afterwards. We can station another engineer here if we need more energy. Let's get the supplies. And look at that. Perfect. Good. So what else would we need? I already mentioned um, a few buildings. We can't yet uh, build the Psi chamber, so we're going to postpone that a tiny bit. But Psionics will be researched next. I think the GTS would be pretty, pretty helpful. And in order to achieve that, we need one permanent um, permanent engineer stationed there. So Guerrilla Tactic School, let's build that next. Takes a while, but I think we're going to be fine. The main question is, do we need to maybe speed this one up as well? Let's think about it. We got sufficient supplies. We could get a fifth member. That's not bad. We could get the PCSs. That's not bad either. But the opportunity cost is if we're not clearing the alien machinery here, we're going to fall behind on the psionic uh, rush. And I told you we wanted to get psionic um, psi operative soon. And I want to stay true to the run. So we're going to stick with that. So pursue of knowledge, super fast research time now suit up. All armor and vest projects are completed instantly. That is great. Integrated warfare, increased PCS effects is, is pretty good as well. And we got our assault rifles with an additional point of damage. So we already mentioned psionics are going to be the next uh, thing. You can see the research time is down to 12 days. And even with plated armor, we're already down to 15 days. It's, it's only getting faster at this point. So let's go with psionics. And in 12 days, we should be fine. Yeah, I would like to speed this up again, but we do not. I, I also want the proving grounds, uh, to be honest. So essentially, this one here currently is fixed unless we're building another um, contact, another uh, form of um, of power source me, it sounds like he managed to gain a position with the advent government early on if only to start leaking intel if we were to upgrade this year it'll take us two more power i do not want to do it because it takes three power to build the psionic um, uh, training center the Psy Lab. Good. We're not taking the supplies here. Not if we can do something more meaningful. We do not have enough intel. Nah. We have nothing more meaningful to do. Maybe gain intel, but that is arguably worse. So. That's really not a very good use of our time. Yeah, Avenger we're going to get board. into scanning for normal supplies when you have 700 supplies. That's just not a good use of your time. And there is yet another facility. Gotta move a bit faster soon.
there is the Avatar project. I can already see that very soon we're going to do the Black Side facility. And let's take a look what do we have as, an, uh, as choices for the next time. I like the scientist, but undying loyalty, yeah. This is what we need to do. Oh, and let's protect the device. <laughs> do I really want to play with undying loyalty? Do I really want to play with undying loyalty? I don't know. The hidden event, for what it's worth, could be even worse. So we might want to sabotage the transmitter here. Take the engineer, counter the hidden event, and just hope and pray for the love of God that we're uh, that um, undying loyalty is not happening immediately. So, yeah, that is that. Um, in terms of our resistance ring, we, we, we got some extra loot. Ability points are fantastic. We should do. get those. We can recruit a second Templar. Ooh. Oh yeah, baby! Second Templar it is, because I can actually use that one. And... Uh, yeah, that's not good. Okay, second Templar it is. That's what we're going to do next. And in terms of soldiers, we got Hogbite available, so we can deal with him. Why the heck do they have level ups available? Not that it will matter in this run, but let's just get it over with. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so far so good. We're almost at the point where we're getting sparks. So proving ground is um, ready and we got enough, almost ready, and we got enough um, Alarium cores to build the sparks so we can put out two maybe th even three sparks So the rise of the robots will start very soon and we can get a second Templar plus GTS. Oh my gosh, this is going to be So much better soon um, We're definitely going to upgrade our team if you enjoy the rise of the robots and if you enjoy my content then consider subscribing and in any case if you like the video just hit the like button and leave a comment because for those of you who are unaware the algorithm of YouTube uh, will promote videos with more like buttons and matter of fact if you are watching it and you're not hitting like the algorithm will consider that you do not really like the content and if many people behave like that the video will be even further uh, decreased in its priority. So that's a little bit of education of how the YouTube game works. Thank you guys and have a great day. Bye bye.